It's a swarm of dragonflies. Isn't that neat? They're all kind of a, as far as I can see, I had one of them light on me. They seem to be kind of uh, not your typical, well, I say typical, they're typical dragonflies, but they're just, uh, they all seem to be the same color, more of a, a darker color. A lot of times the dragonflies are kind of bright neon color or iridescent, maybe I should say. These are a little bit, uh, they're all, I don't know, I haven't seen one <laughs> close enough. It might be just the way the light's shining, but it seems to me like they're all sort of this darker color. But it's neat, a little swarm of them. Look at them all. They must have all just popped out or something. Where did you come from, dragonflies? It's like quite a few of them. I wonder if they go, how far they go, if they're just here in the sunny spot on the road or if they go all the way down the road. They weren't here when I walked down. So they've shown up in the period of time between coming down the road and now going back. It seems like they're kind of in this spot, this sunny spot on the road, sort of like they came out from somewhere in the woods or something. I don't know. But uh, springtime, all the, they're everywhere. They're way over there on those houses. And, you know, some other kind of little, what are those? Are they, are they small? I think they're little teeny dragonflies. Look at that. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Yeah, they're dragonflies. I'm almost sure. I can't say for sure. Yeah, they've got like the four wings. They gotta be little baby dragonflies. Look. <laughs> I think that's what they are. Yeah, they got four they're dragonflies. I don't know what else they would be. Being with four, you know, kind of they had a longer tail and four wings. They're just tiny. That's the whole dragonfly city came out. That's pretty neat. Anyhow, you just uh, enjoy nature and all these different seasons and you get something. There's these little surprises and that, so I got excited about that and that was just, uh, you know, that's, that's how nature is such a, a nice, pleasant way we belong in nature and, are, and we're naturally curious about nature. It's kind of, um, you, you can talk about that in a lot of different ways from how we're supposed to nature's supposed to make us aware and supposed to make us alert about things and i think we're alert if something's a danger then you know our 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 fight or flight response goes one direction and if something is benign we kind of our dopamine reaction goes the other way so oh, this is a benign thing and, and benign in nature is kind of seen as good because it's not dangerous or threatening and then of course you might uh, have all kinds of other responses to finding some berries on the side of the road or something to eat and you know these things uh, have uh, quite you know um, important aspects to to human life and life in general and it really without having to think about it is just our response and, and, and this and this evidence that we are from nature and humans belong you know with nature and and we gain a lot of benefit from from that and from from that little moments like that I mean that um, that being mesmerized by those dragonflies you know was a uh, it takes you into a, a pleasant state of mind it's you know people spend a lot of time and money on trying to fix their mental health and you know it's little moments like that that are free you just have to get out and take it in and enjoy it don't take these things for granted i love you